So back in with another video and I was like, dude, I got a clean car, like it's cool. And I haven't showed y'all my car yet. You probably seen like old videos of it, but not like a full, full video of it. So go ahead, show them the whip, y'all. Show them the whip. All right, so basically, I'm joking, this ain't my car. It's Hugo's car, the dude behind the camera. My friend, right? But it's a clean bike nonetheless. But I was thinking, dude, your bike kind of looks like my car. So go ahead, show them the car. The, the big car review. Basically, if you're wondering, 2017 Camaro 2 SS. If you're not into cars, I'm not a huge car dude either. But um, a 2 SS, basically. I feel like rice gum. <laughs> basically, 2 SS, all that does. Oh, by any means, for this video, I'm just showing my car. It's a cool car. I'm gonna do car videos and stuff. By no, no, no means at all do I mean to like flex or boasting. I got this whip, I got this. It's just entertainment, y'all. It's just a car video. There's tons of other car channels and videos on YouTube. I got a pretty cool car. Like before, I had the car. I was thinking, like, how would the vlogs look? I'm me with my camera, just walking, grabbing the the door handle, and like this opening it, the red color. It, it's pretty cool, y'all. So I kind of dreamed about it for a little bit, but I finally do got my dream car, y'all. Camaro 2 SS. Basically, 2 SS is just from the inside power. 2 SS basically is leather interior. You can see that. I think he did this. Only for one in my car, it's an automatic, so a lot of I know like a whole bunch of car people, people that are like big into cars, yeah. they're like you should have got a manual, like dude. I'm cool with just driving my car, but I ain't trying to like do all that like all that hurricane and jerking movement. I'm good off that, y'all. So basically, here's the whip. Oh, if I haven't said this in the video already, I had this car for a whole like year. I got it in May 2017, like May 5th, I think, or May 6th. Not May 5th. And I just never showed the car. I don't know why. I'm gonna show y'all the inside. Let me pop this thing. You ready? Ta da! It is kind of dirty right now, but if you don't know, if you're not big into cars, it's a 6.2 liter V8. The big boy. Not the super, super big boy supercharger one, but it's still the big boy, y'all. The V8 one. Right, it's, um, Horsepower, 455 horsepower, 6.2 V8. I know the torque, I think it's like 450, 455. I think 455 horsepower, 455 torque. If I'm wrong, comment down below, leave it in the comments. But like Hugo was saying behind the camera, the code and intake on their website, when I like Googled it, whatever, it said it's supposed to have like 20 or 25 horsepower. So 455 plus like 25. Just running it to like 480, right? About not, but also the code and intake, it did kind of make my car sound a little bit louder. So go ahead and show them. Um, what else should we show about the car? Uh, I was showing the black lug nuts. I did just barely add this yesterday. I cleaned my car not too long ago, so the car does look pretty shiny. I'll throw in some clean b roll throughout the whole video. As far as the front tires go, these are four, no, not four, I'm tripping. I think they're like two, 245, 540, something R20. These are two, can you see? These are 275, my bad. 275, it's still like a fat, fat, stupid wide tire. As you can see the back. Now if you're thinking, hell, why did you get a red car? Everybody got a red car. That's like my dream setup, like dream, dream, dream car. Necessarily, it wasn't at first a Camaro, cause like I said, I wasn't into cars, but I, I knew I wanted a car. Like before I had this car, I would think, I, I want a red car super bad, black wheels, black tires, obviously. And if possible, one one exhaust like one here one there and then i Dual wanted leader. like led headlights i know it's real materialistic but that was like a stupid dream of mine and then look i got quad exhaust i dreamt about having the single tip one on this side one on this side but i got quad exhaust now let's get into the exhaust later on let's do the whole full 360 first i'll show them the trunk as you can see ss badging right here eventually i want to make these uh Tail lights black, but they're red for now. Now the trunk is hella small, y'all. So 
it's small, but I feel like once you go into it like deep, it's like pretty deep. Could you fit somebody in there? You could fit like at least two bodies up in that whole pal. For mm -hmm. sure. Let's show them. Let's no show doubt. Them, let's show them how I get in there. <laughs> nah, I'm kind of tired, fella. I'll pass show them the little in between stuff, fella. I cleaned up this past weekend. That's what's up. On this side, basically, you got the gas sink. If you don't know, put gas in here. Nah, but basically, I knew this before I was getting into the car. The car's gonna waste gas. I knew that before I got the car. But I didn't think it was gonna be this much. Basically, you gotta put 93 octane, or the highest octane you got in your area. Premium gas, supreme whatever. And then I gotta fill up like twice, sometimes three times a week. And that's about it for that. But like I was saying, same exact tires on this one. Same thing there. I kinda wanna make these black, pal. Make these black with the LED the side thing. markers? Yeah, that'd be clean, right? Yeah. Once again, it's nighttime, because at night, this part lights up, it's super clean. That lights up, and also this Camaro logo lights up. Oh, I cleaned this too for this past weekend. All right, so yeah, that's the car. As you, hey, show them the front, guys. Show them the front face up. It's stupid, man. It's clean. My whip's 2017, if you didn't know. But yeah, that's the car, but let me go and show y'all the inside of the car. All right, so back, like I was saying, with the inside of the car, let me go ahead and throw this back there. It's my Frank is there. But uh, this is a 2017 Camaro 2 SS, so the car's stupid clean, stupid nice for sure. It's like one of the things that I really like about this car, like I was saying earlier, I wanted a car with in the back dual exhaust, but like one on this side, one on this side. LED lights, you know, clean stuff. It's crazy, this car got squad exhaust. Let's go ahead and start it up. Hey, you ready? Here's a quick start up. Mind you, it is daytime. I just got done driving it like two minutes ago. It is a warm start. Let me go ahead and show y'all a touring mode. That's touring mode like a mile, just to 2k RPMs, y'all. Let's get this 2k again. As you can hear, it gets deeper, so the exhaust. Here's touring mode, touring mode right here, y'all. It's pretty good. It sounds good. Way louder, y'all. Track. And then I got snow and ice mode, which is it's cool, but I want to show y'all. All right, so basically, if you're wondering how do you change the exhaust, how do you make it quieter, loud? Basically, uh, it's a button right here, the mode selection button. So you click this, put it down, and right here it says. Can you see it or not? Touring mode. So touring mode, it closes the exhaust. Sport opens them. And then when you're on uh, track mode, it like completely opens it. So you can kind of hear the difference on that. So 200 on the dash, that's like a huge, huge deal to me. I know like, um, what, what's kind of weird to me, pal, is like on the Mustangs, the GT 5.0 or whatever, it says 160 on those. Like, I'm not gonna go 160, maybe 115 to it. 200 it just looks way cleaner like i know hellcats got 200 uh scat packs i think have 180. Mm. Oh, i forgot i got two cameras yeah right. talk to him. this one car stupid clean so that was a huge deal to me 200 on the dash but like i was saying the interior of this car is cool y'all you got these leather seats it's all black leather with these little uh gray portions right here that's super clean also the steering wheel i live in texas y'all so the weather doesn't get too crazy too Nothing too crazy over here in Texas, but um, I know like some people like in Minnesota. Shout out to Tall Guy Car Views. I watch like all his videos. I don't think his Hellcat has it, but I could be wrong. But a like, heated steering wheel. That's not like the most cool. Nah, it is pretty cool. I ain't finna lie, y'all. So from here to here, it's like heated. So when you grab it, and it's a cold day outside, heated steering wheel. You got the paddle shifters, which I kind of do know how to use, but I kind of don't at the same time, so I'm still learning on that. Do the light show right now. Close the door real quick. Can you see it or not? If you can't see it too good right now, I'll throw some uh, B-roll shots up. All right, what is up? So, back like I was gonna show y'all, let me cut this flash on just so you can see me a little bit better. But um, let me show you the interior lights of the car, like I did say early in the video, so. Let me go ahead and show you that right now. So basically these are the lights, y'all. That's what I was showing y'all earlier. You got the blue one over there. You got that light. Hope the light over there cuts off. You have a light 
in the cup holder, as you can see, which is super cool. Now, the cool thing about this, you got the light strip there, which is cool. Another one here, another one going across the radio thingy, and a whole nother one on the, the driver door. And that's cool. Let me cut this flight off. That's cool and all, but you're like, you could like do it to uh, link to drive mode. You can see that right there. Link to drive mode. So when the car is in touring mode, which is right there, like I was saying, you got uh, touring, cut that off. Touring, sport, and when you go to sport mode, it changes that. So let me go back to touring real quick. Touring's blue. You can see a change. When I switch this, press this, it goes to red. Press it again. Go to orange, which is track mode. So you can see that. Also, if you just want to um, hang out with a friend or something, say your friend likes, oh no, red. Leave it at red. Have the car in track, you know. Or uh, I think this might be my favorite one right here. It's like a light bluish color. Oh no, it looks kind of cool. I like that one the most. But yeah, that's the light inside my car. Just wanted to show y'all that. But y'all, the car is clean, y'all, overall. Now, a lot of people complain. In Camaros, you can't see nothing. In Mustangs, people don't like them because stereotypical people say you can't, you know, Mustangs always cra uh, crash and stuff. And the challenge is nobody likes them because they're like big boats. And the Camaros don't like them because you can't see nothing. But I ain't finna lie, like when I did first get the car, I was like, dude, I can't see nothing. Let me close the hood real quick. Let me just show you like the visibility on you. Let me take my camera off this thing up here. All right, here's the visibility y'all so when you're just driving when you put this down look how much you can see the steering wheel is here i got my steering wheel a little bit lower but if it's like all the way up uh, that's all the way up you can't see nothing out this thing like at all so I'll just put it all the way back but like i was saying after a while you do get kind of used to how like small this car is like for example these windows now like the drinks say you're at uh you're at McDonald's or something, they hand you your drink. It's like scraping the top, so it don't fit too good, y'all. And this is a small cup from uh, Canes. But yeah, here's the car in the interior, what it looks like inside. Let me go ahead and close the sunroof. Oh, yeah, I got a sunroof also. At first, it wasn't, I didn't really care for sunroofs too much. I was like, cool, if I have one, cool. If I didn't, it wasn't a deal breaker. Well, and my dad was convincing me if you're gonna get a a new car get a sunroof get the whole shebang don't like halfway do it so that's cool i'm glad he told me to do that because i really do like my sunroof now close it just it's kind of hot outside oh yeah the all the audio right speakers so on the 2ss if you don't know it does have bose sound system uh, which is pretty cool it, it sounds good y'all so can't complain on that at all y'all one of my other favorite features about this car oh yeah stay tuned i'm gonna drop like a whole video a, a separate video y'all because I feel like this one's getting too long already. But I'm going to do a video talking about my top five things that I hate about the car. Which isn't a lot because you can't hate on a... I can't hate on my car at all, y'all. But also a top five things that I do like on the car. Just to give you a, a quick a quick sneak peek, y'all. These lights are super clean. I hope you can see it. If not, you could kind of see the cup holder one. And I time it looks way better. But these, these um, door handles are like... Middle. I don't know what it is, but they're like super cool and just the look of it like look at the door like Getting out the car like how clean it looks And then just getting into the car. Let me try the part that I really dreamed about y'all I'm on my GoPro now if you can't see you'll probably see there. I'm on a GoPro We are just getting into the car like this angle right here Opening up the camera. That was like a dream of mine for a while. It's, it's cool how it's like actually here or whatever, but getting into the car I know. Now, any like a whole different thing that I like is um. Let me show you. So basically, everybody got or everybody got the phone for the most part, a smartphone. Bam, hooks it up, throw it in there. It's basically like your your iPhone, but on that so maps, music, that new Post Malone album goes hard, y'all. Yeah. Oh damn. Oh, that's cool y'all um y'all this is also a super cool feature 
if you don't know like that says low that's the temperature but if you're thinking how do you make it high there's no button for it right wrong just like cut this hole twist it and as you twist it the temperature gets higher there so that's cool two different dual heat dual oh yeah the dual um not exhaust but i don't know what you call it dual, uh, so like I say control. yeah i want to have mine all the way though i want it on cold my friend hugo wants his he wants it at 75. so bam you can see right there Oops, 76 75 that's cool and this button right here uh the blue ones is a seat cooler so basically you're like butt and the back oh you can also see the ss right there that's super clean i really do like that on the car but it like it like cools your back and your butt or you can have the heated one on same exact opposite warms your butt and your back oh, if you're wondering how's the back the back seat room it can't fit back there, bro. <laughs> yeah, so here's my seat at, at my settings, yo. That, that's how I sit now. Mind you, I'm five, eight and a half. Let's say five, nine. Five, nine sounds cooler, yo. Five, nine. I'm like a whole 160 pounds. This is how I drive. I don't drive like way too back or not too forward, just like a normal person would. Yeah, there's like no room at all. Like, if my seat's back all the way, like when I drive, that's how much room you could like fit. Which is like nothing. Hey, you gotta put your hand like between the back seat and the like nothing at all. All right, so hopefully you can see me kind of good, y'all. The back seat room ain't good at all. Like my, I didn't have to scoop the seat up. I got like no head. My head's touching the thing, and I do got a bunch of hair, so that kind of sucks too. So yeah, like I was saying, in the back seat you got no type of head room, wiggle room at all. But y'all, yeah, I'm super glad about this car. Super thankful I got it. But um, whew, man, that back seat gets tired. No joke. Like if you got a family, if you got a, a baby, a car seat, you cannot fit a car seat back there. Cause I'm a small dude, like small arms. I'm kind of tall, got long legs or whatever. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, what type of videos you want to see with the car? I know for sure I'm gonna do more videos on the car. Obviously, obviously like I said, the top um, top things that I hate, which isn't a lot. You can hit on a brand new car, dude things that i love about this car just a whole bunch of car videos in general car mods i did film when i got my exhaust put on but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave it a fat like thumbs up and hope you enjoyed the video so stay tuned like i said bunch of clean content dropping soon so yeah uh, uh.